everybody. We are here to do some fun learning. We've got a rock tumbler and my boys and I have been tumbling rocks to polish them. And we got this for Christmas and we've been really excited about learning how this works. So we've been doing this for about a month. I didn't realize that you have to tumble them for so long. It has been a long time. So there's four different stages that you tumble these rocks and we're gonna open this up. We're on stage three and we're hoping some of these rocks look a little polished so we don't know what they look like, but we're really excited to check that out. My boys both have rock collections and we have loved taking some of these rocks and this is what we started out with. Let's see, we got some rocks like this and we put them in the rock tumbler and we're gonna see if we can get them to look all polished and pretty. So you can see what the rocks kind of started out looking like right there. And then we're gonna see what they look like after they've been polished for about three weeks now. Is that right guys? It's been a while now. Yes, I think so. Let's see, what else did we have in here? Did we do some of the, Purple uh, rocks. Well, I had a green and purple. One. I had a pink and I had a pink one and a purple one. Seven. A pink one. So we had some really pretty rocks that we put was, in there. Mine was half green and a little purple, and then my other one was blue. And these are some geodes that we opened up. So we'll have to do a video where we open up some geodes and see the crystals inside, because that was a lot of fun. And that would make a really awesome learning video for you guys. But I just wanted to show you what the rocks looked like when they went in. Here are, let's see if we can find some purple ones. Here we go. Here are some purple rocks. And we put some of these, an amethyst. It's a gem, a gemstone. And we put those inside the rock polisher. And we are gonna see what it looks like now. So that is gonna be really exciting. I think I have one more green and purple and it's not done in there somewhere. In this yeah. Room. And I, also that's his rock collection and that one's mine. Very cool. Some awesome rocks there. And we're gonna take this over to the sink because there's like grit and sand in here and it makes a big mess, but we're gonna have a lot of fun and rinse off these stones and see what we've got. All right, everyone, we're at the sink and we've got our tumbler and we're ready to find out what these gems look like. So we have tumbled them for a long time with three different grits. We're gonna have to do it one more time so they're not finished yet. So after this, we're gonna rinse them off and we're gonna do it for another week and then we will see what they look like in another week. So we'll have to do another video when we do that. But the science of rocks and minerals is called geology and you can become a geologist if you love working with rocks whoa <laughs> this is all the grit and the sand that helps polish the stones geologists study rocks minerals land oceans and all the things that are below the surface of the earth so that is really really neat You can see some of our stones in there. And we have to use this bucket because we don't want to put sand in our sink because that's not good for a sink. So we're gonna rinse them off carefully and make sure all the sand, the, ah, I can't talk today. All the sand gets in the bucket. So here we go, we're gonna start rinsing them off. And I've got a little strainer here so that we can strain some of the rocks like this and then rinse them off. Now these aren't rocks, those are some ceramic plastics that we put in there and it helps protect the stones. Oh, look at this. Look at how shiny it is. They're really soft. Here, my I like that orange one. Oh, wow, yeah, that one is pretty. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, this is, uh, it looks like wood. 
Like the marks in this orb look like wood marks. I think they came out really good. Hey, this is mine. Wow. Wow, those are really neat. And where do we put them? Put them back in here. We're gonna. Oh, look at this one. That is really shiny. I already picked up that one. <laughs> well, the big spotted one. It definitely has trimmed their rocks quite smaller than they were before. Yeah, the rocks got smaller because it broke off some of the rough I this, edges. I think this may be mine. I'm not sure. I know. Well, I'm we're going to go through one. and we'll rinse them off and separate them. And then we might even be able to look up what some of the names are. I think this is a Dalmatian. Um, I'm trying to remember. That would make sense. <laughs> and this is yeah. an amethyst. So there's different gems and rocks. What kind is this one? I know I heard it. I forgot. I'm not sure. We'll have to look it up. Because this because right around now, well, we just started talking about like rocks, earth, today, well, this week in science. We just started talking about that. That is awesome. Oh. And I think this is a soap gem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to rinse off the last of them. And there's some really small ones in here. Tiny tots. Here is another amethyst. Another. Those are some of my favorites. And there are so, quite a lot of tiny tots. Hey, in look, here. this one looks like it may have came off one of mine. All right, we're going to start pulling our rocks out like this. We've got some big ones that we're going to put out here in the front. And as they dry, you'll start to see they're not quite as shiny as they were. But hopefully, as we polish them for another week, they'll get a little bit more polished and shiny. And we've got lots of little, little ones. Well, you can see all of these really cool stones. And we were so excited to get them out. And I can't tell you how soft they are now that they've been through the polisher. So we're going to set up everything and get ready to put them back in there for another week. And then we will have to do another video and see what they look like in a week. And there are some really pretty ones in here. May I point Don't out my one. rocks? Yeah, which ones were your two? It's either that one or that one, and I know that one. I like to pretend it's a little race car zooming by. So Alex's were these two. And here's a picture of those rocks before they were in the polisher the very first time. And then Nathan's rocks were these two. And here's a picture of those before we put them in the polisher the very first time. Pretty big difference, don't you think? This is really neat. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're all done. We're going to take our tumbler here and open it back up. We've got it all rinsed out and we're gonna put our rocks back inside. So I got some water there. Little wet. It is a little wet. No big deal. So it's all clean and we're gonna put our stones back inside, ready for the final stage of polishing. I'm so not th ready. <laughs> this is stage four. All right, so after you put all your rocks inside the barrel, you have to put your grit. We're going to pour our grit in there. So now we have the powder. Then we have to put our plastic pellets in there. And we're going to fill it up about three-fourths of the way so that it tumbles good. There we go. So those are our plastic pellets. And now I've got to put water in here. So I'm going to go fill it with water and we're almost ready to go. Now we've got water in there. It's time to seal it up. I'm gonna put this lid on. Let's see if we can get, there we go, it snaps in. And then this goes over. And then we screw on the top. Make sure it's good and tight. We don't want it all leaking out. There we go. And then hand me the rock tumbler. Okay. And then this is our tumbler. And it's going to sit on there just like this. All right, we're going to set the days for seven days. So it will run for seven days. And then we're going to hit go. And there it is.
So it will run like that for seven days, polishing the stones. And as it turns, it just continually polishes them, just like if they were sitting in a river and the water was running over them for hundreds of years, that would polish a stone. So when you pick a stone up out of the river, it's really soft and smooth usually. That's because the water slowly polishes them. We speed up the process by using sand and grit and by tumbling it this way. But in nature, it takes a really, really long time for those stones to get that smooth and soft. Um, it is quite annoying overnight. We, you, we had to find an extra room so that it wouldn't annoy us overnight. Yes, that is true. We had to put this in a bedroom that was far away from everyone so that they wouldn't be interrupted in their sleep because it is pretty loud. I hope you enjoyed this fun video getting to see all of these cool rocks and how we've polished them for almost a month now. Stick around. We'll try to do another video where we show you what they look like in a week after they've been polished for the very last time. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you later. Bye!